Hi guys, welcome back. One important announcement from today, I'm going to start a new course on YouTube. So that will be S4 HANA FICO associate training. This training is going to help you those who are going to prepare uh, on SAP, maybe analyst role or SAP super user, power user role. If you are serious about your preparation, then definitely you can crack also the, the junior consultant role. At least uh, one or two years experience that profile very easily you can manage. On daily basis, I'm going to add here uh, videos here. I'm expecting like 40 to 50 hours content. It will be there, but uh, it is not restricted to that at the time of preparation if anything which is required uh, uh, then obviously i will add that and once this uh, topics will be completed then i will also add the interview preparation series so without wasting much time let's start so today we will start with organization structure so what exactly organization structure i will try to make it very simple so that uh, anyone without having any sap experience very easily you can understand this one Whenever you are going to log into SAP screen, so whatever you are going to see here. So as we know that SAP is the best ERP, which is very famous for integrations and all. So the moment you will log into the screen, you will find that a complete organization structure is available, whether it is finance report, whether it is sales order, whether it is related to uh, production. So everything is connected with, with each other. So uh, systematically, uh, systematic way, we are going to see all the levels of structure, whether it is finance, logistics, sales from the top to bottom. So how and it is important that how it is connected with each other. So by the end of this process, you will understand what is the organization structure and how it is connected with each other. Next question is as a finance consultant or as a finance professional who are already working on or who is working on SAP, is it required that uh, we should know everything that means finance, logistic, so we should know everything, procurement, sales, finance point of view, it is important that you should understand the organization structure related to finance. But uh, if you have a good understanding in all areas, then it is going to help you to understand the business process, to understand the concept. And also it is going to help you the answer when you will answer something in interview because integration point of view, it is going to help you, right? So no need to worry. Systematic way we are going to learn it and we are going to configure it. So very easily you can understand. This is my login screen, which is uh, uh, through GY and uh, I'm going to use S4HANA 2023 version for on-premise point of view and uh, same the Fury. Now if I try to understand the org structure which is there, obviously uh, this one I'm going to show you which is already configured but we will configure one by one. So now I'm, I want to see organization structure which is there in the system but it is not system delivered, it is uh, configured earlier by me. So this is my organization structure and uh, which you will try to understand then it is going to start from here to here, right? It seems like uh, the organization structure something is going to start from uh, Z300. Now let me understand what exactly this Z300. Z300 is my company code, right? So what are these components? So what are these elements? So we will learn. Now let me expand all these structures here. So I'm going to expand. Now this, this portion is related to finance. This portion is related to finance. So when I'm saying finance, finance include controlling too, because we have two uh, segments are there. One is your financial accounting and another one is your management accounting or controlling. So once you are there in the system, so in which segment you are going to work? If you are from the finance team, then you are going to start with or you are going to work with your company code. If you are from the management accounting point of view, then you are going to work with your operating concern or you are going to work on the controlling area. So if you are not familiar with these terms, it's absolutely fine. Anyway, if systematically we are going to configure it. Logistic point of view, if you are from the procurement, then you are going to work on the procurement site. And if you are from the sales, then you are going to work on the sales segment. And what about this plant? This plant is related to our general logistic means plant is connected with both finance as well as sales. So plant is involved or under this plant, we are going to do the settings related to procurement, related to sales, related to production. So that one we are saying that logistic in general. Similarly, if, we'll, if you are from the procurement or if you are from the sales, then you can see something here, sales organization is there. All these configurations will be handled by the developer. If you are working from the business side, then it is not your responsibility 
to configure all these things although i will show you how to configure it but if you are business user then already you will get these configurations from the developers you are just going to use it for example if you are going to purchase something then purchase organization has to be there when you are going to sell something then sales organization should be there so under this uh, sales organization you can see few things are available so we have to understand what are those similarly under this uh, purchase also few things are available and uh, this one is our purchase segment and it is also important not only creation the assignment because connection is business process point of view everything is connected with each other so when one user is going to do something in other end or in the finance or in the uh, profitability analysis point of view you are going to get the output so that's why creation and output so that means if we'll summarize what is organization structure so organization structure we can say it is the backbone of the entity in a business how what are the different hierarchies are available accordingly the organization structure has to be configured who is going to create this organization structure the consultants are going to create the organization structure if you are preparing for the consulting role developing role then it is your responsibility to configure it step by step or on the basis of input information which you are going to get it from your business you are going to configure if you are the business user you are just going to use the application then this part already you will get it from your uh, business they will uh, the, give the information this is our company code this is our sales organization and you are going to use it but if you don't know what exactly company code then it is difficult for you to uh, use it if you don't know how to create a purchase organization or if you don't know maybe you will not create it but you should know the what is the concept behind the purchase organization so that's why don't skip anything when uh, something i'm configuring in the system maybe if you are preparing for a business user role maybe it is not development point of view important for you but business point of view important for you so that's why i said that this course is going to help anyone who is preparing any role then uh, let's uh, draft one organization structure from the beginning from our uh, presentation point of view so this is the chart which i prepared so in top you will find client again it's a bit technical client means whenever you are going to log into sap environment so in which system you are going to configure that is your client if right now i will show in my system so when i will try to log in again it is coming from the system landscape concept in another video i will explain that one so you can see this is our client so you can see a three digit number is available here so this one is your client if this number can be anything it may be 100 200 300 400 so in which client if you are doing the configuration then it will be in the development client if you are doing the uh, user activity then it will be production client so the first one will be when you will log in that will be client and even if right now you are using your practice system so you have access in a particular system and there you are going to configure so first you will find a client and this client number will be given by basis so in our case we are going to define i mean we have the system so client is there then after that we are going to configure the operating concern so why this operating concern is required for the profitability analysis maybe you will say that this is part of your pnl means from the income statement we are going to get the profitability analysis for that operating concern is why required no business used to do profitability analysis both from internal and external in uh, when they will go for income statement or pnl that is your profitability analysis externally so the users are bankers government shareholders they are the key users from that report so where we are going to have a financial information from that particular report but if you want to see the operational profitability analysis and at micro level which we are saying that margin analysis so in that case operating concern is required so when i was showing the organization structure in top the operating concern was there okay let me show you once again now you can see here uh, my operating concern is there this one is operating concern which is something defined as combined copa this is a advanced feature so this operating concern has to be there in top so under this operating concern or with this operating concern we are going to do internal profitability analysis so with help of this profitability analysis we are going to evaluate the performance of the organization internally operation level and it will be a micro level analysis under this operating concern you will find your controlling area will be there and why we need to have the controlling area controlling area is required for cost calculation point of view controlling area is required for product costing point of view and your overhead management means anything related to costing we are going to manage with our controlling area is it mandatory to have the controlling area yes 100 percent 
man controlling area will be there not only the manufacturing company if any service based company also they are also going to do the cost calculation so they will calculate their cost for their services whatever they are offering right so let's say any it company they are not manufacturing anything but they are giving the it services which is services means they want to uh, raise their uh, they, they are going to raise the bill so for that purpose they need they should know that what is the cost of these services so that's why for all the overhead management all the departmental cost for everything the controlling area has to be there now whether we have uh, operating concern for non manufacturing companies 100% it will be there because they are also going to do the profitability and this is so these are not required that any manufacturing company they only go for operating concern and uh, the controlling area every entities they need to have the operating concern as well as controlling area so in top we have client so this client in my case it is 900 then we are going to have the operating concern which is required for profitability analysis point of view then we are going to have the controlling area for the cost of production calculation and overhead management point of view then we are going to have the company code which is nothing but your entity which is your operation point of view in my next video i will explain in detail with the company code then after that uh, one by one we will see so this is the finance organization structure so this entity is related to fi if i am responsible for finance and controlling then th this is my responsibility to configure in the system and uh, the logistic part will be handled by the logistic consultant now coming to the next slide here i have added one plant so what is plant why it is required in that entity also if we'll check plant is available so this is the plant and under this plant both logistic activities are there sales purchase production and all similarly this plant has to be there plant is required for your purchase activity for sales activity for manufacturing point of view so any company if they are not manufacturing anything still plant is required yes plant is required for their uh, internal movement of your inventories so plant 100% it will be there in very rare case maybe plant uh, not required for example one consulting firm so they they don't need plant suppose but uh, most of the time you will find all type of business manufacturing trading and also they need to have the plant and don't think that plant is always in manufacturing unit even the sales depot also we may consider as plant then i have included one storage location storage location is nothing but the warehouse and that will be included at plant level then i have included uh, the purchase organization for the purchase activities and the sales organization and while doing the configuration when i will do the demonstration i will fill this information so what exactly we are going to take this is a raw skeleton which i have uh, designed here so which we will use in our demonstration purpose and uh, one company code i am going to take with the same company code i am going to and uh, demonstrate all the business functions whether it is p2p r2 r or o2c or any business process that i am going to show, show in the same company code so what we learn here we learn here what is the organization structure and why it is important in the entity because any user when they are going to post some transaction in the system whether it is uh, i mean finance or logistic so it is part of some organization structure it is part of some component of the organization so structure so organization structure has to be there so in our next video we will start with creation of company code so you must be thinking why company code why not from the operating concern uh, first we have to complete this settings then we will go for controlling area then we will go for operating concern but hierarchy point of view operating concern is the highest node